friends and welcome back to the 18th part of this series where we'll be creating a chat app in Flutterflow and Superbase. So in this video, we'll be dealing with the last message as well as the last message time text over here to show on the UI. Alright, so let's get into it right now. So in order to implement the last message and last message time functionality in our app, what we can use is we can make use of this thing called Superbase triggers. So what are Superbase triggers you may ask? Well, Superbase triggers basically allow you to call a function or an action whenever something happens to your Superbase tables. So it can be used in our case that whenever a message is sent to a group chat. So whenever a new message is sent and a new row is inserted into our messages table over here, we want to update our chats table, particularly this last message column as well as this last message time column with the last message as well as the time of the newly inserted row in our messages table. So how we can add triggers is that we can go to our SQL editor and you can see that I've already created the trigger over here so that you don't have to. So let me show you how to quickly create a new trigger. So what I will do is I will go over here and I'll click on this new query button. You can see that it creates a new query. You can rename this query over here as well let's say update last message in time then now I would copy and paste this over here into this right here so if I wanted to I can delete this query and once you have copy and pasted all of this over here you would click on run and the result is a success result meaning that our super base trigger has been successfully created so let me just give you a quick rundown of this query. So this first part basically tells us that we are creating a function called update last message. This is the name of the function. The return type is a trigger return type. And the language that we are using to code this function in is Postgres SQL. So Postgres SQL. And this part of the function over here basically says that we are updating our chat table. So this is to update our chat table. And we want to set the last message column of our chat table, as well as the last message time column of our chat table to our newly inserted rows message text column, as well as the created at timestamp column over here. And we only want to update our chat table row where the chat ID is equal to our messages recipient ID and this final part over here it creates the actual trigger called update last message trigger after inserting so this happens after we have inserted a new row inside our messages table over here and this just tells us to execute this whole function over here so that we can create the trigger so now if we go to our database option over here and we go to triggers we can see that there's this new trigger over here that has been created for us. And this tells us that the trigger has been successfully created. So now, if we go to our chat app over here, and if we go to any chat we want, let's say Exilotos are cute, and we type in something. And if we send this message, if we go back to our Superbase table editor, and the chats, and under the Axolotos are cute chat over here, we can see that now there is a last message of I think Axolotos are super cute as well as the time that we sent it over here. If we try typing in something else, and we send this over here, we can now see that this last message as well as the time has also been updated for this chat over here. So that shows that our trigger works. And if we also exit out of the chat back into our home page, we can see that the last message is also reflected in the UI over here as well, as well as the relative time that the message was sent. All right, so that's it for today's video. Today is a short video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Superbase triggers, and I hope you see the usefulness of them as well. If you'd like to learn more about Superbase triggers, do write it down in the comments and maybe I'll make a more in-depth video explaining how exactly to create your own custom Superbase triggers as well.